The 3A Division I Region 1 final featured a rematch of multiple swords as state finalist Brock squared off once again with Whitesboro, who they'd already defeated earlier this year in district play and who they defeated a year ago in this very round. What would the reunion bring? Well, in the first quarter, Matt Harper connected with Carter Sluter. Outracing the defender, 93 yards later, reservation for six. Miss PAT, Whitesboro on the board first, 6 nothing. Eagles would respond, though. Tyler Moody buying time, scrambling around, eventually finding Jet Jones for the 13-yard score. Moody finished 18 of 31 for 265. Brock up 7-6 after one. Now in the second quarter, Harper pump fakes. Sending it to Jay Sanders. It's a 36-yard strike. Two-point try. No good. Bearcats up 12-7 at the break. Let's jump to the fourth. Brock down 12-10. Moody hitting Jones over the middle. Oh, he does the rest. Jones, nine grabs for 101 and two scores. Missed two-point. Eagles up 16-12. Just over three minutes to go. Brock down 19-6. Reed Watkins leaping over the goal line for six. Eagles scoring as they take the 23-19 lead. And on the ensuing Winsboro possession, Harper chucking it up. Check out Jones as he makes the insane juggling interception. The senior getting it done on offense and defense, and that led to this. Watkins following his blockers, coasting in. Coach Billy Mathis ecstatic as Brock Bess Whitesboro for its second straight regional title. Travis Buckner was on hand for reaction. Well, if there's one thing that Brock knows, it's how to win football games. This team played in the state title game one year ago, and they have their sights set on making it back yet again. It was no easy task to beat a good Whitesboro team who plays really solid defense, but when the offense came alive in the second half, there was no denying their destiny. Uh, me and my quarterback, I mean, we've been clicking since day one. Our offensive line worked out perfectly. Play calling was great. And we just found each other. It's the same as last week. Uh, told us, seniors, this, is, this could be our last game. And if y'all want it to be our last game, then that's it. He said, never lay down and quit. Uh, and we never lay down and we never quit. And that's why we came back on top. It was hard fought on both sides. You can see it. You know, everybody goes and lays it all out, you know, on the field. And you hate it that there's got to be a winner and a loser, right? I mean, because both teams were very deserving. And, you know, I'm glad we're on this end of it, though. You know, proud of our guys for coming out and never giving up, never stopping. And they just go play for each other. You know, and they do what Brock Eagles do. They dig, they dig, they dig, and they fight, they fight, they fight. So that's what we're going to do week in and week out. Well, Whitesboro ends their season with the most wins in school history. So a lot to be proud of in Texoma. But the Eagles' battle for redemption lives on for one more week.